name is Richard Lester. I have been a driver since 2016. And when did you start at Cypress? Uh, 2000, the end of 2017. Okay. So you drove for like about a year before you started with Cypress? Yeah, I drove for another flatbed company. Okay. Everything is uh, location based. So Cypress was in Jacksonville. I had a place to park the truck. They promised me a lot more home time than what I was getting with the company I was with where I was maybe going home once every two to three weeks. Now I was going home two to three nights a week where I was getting to see my kids. So that was the biggest thing was the, the little ones. Uh, I was actually a driver trainer with the last flatbed company I worked for. And when I got here, it was it just kind of, it fell into my lap. I, you know, they, they offered me the position to be an instructor. And I was like, hey, you know what, I'll give it a shot. And I've been out here right about three years. It's, it's nice. Uh, something that I grew up around. I've, I've been in around trucking since I was two years old. It, you know, it's one of those things that I've been around my whole life. So, and I'm very passionate about it. So giving back to these, you know, young ladies and gentlemen that come out here and want to start a new career, it, it, it's nice for me. I enjoy it. Uh, watching them grow, watching them come here and you know, not even know how to put, well, you know, now it's easy with the autos, but not even know how to put the truck in gear to, from that point to where they can drive them, back them, you know, pre-trip them and know pretty much what they need to know to go out into the world of driving. So that's, that's a big part for me is watching the growth is I enjoy that. I, I like my, my students to be confident in their abilities, but don't get cocky because the day you get cocky, you know, you're going to make a mistake. But you, you want to be confident and you know what you're doing out there. And that's, that's one of the things I like to instill is uh, confidence. You've got to be confident in what you do. I looked for, when I decided to come to Cyprus, what options do I have? Uh, is there different accounts? Is there different, you know, routes you can do that'll get you home more or less? Uh, the company I came from basically only had one thing. It was line haul. You were, you were just a driver. Here there's, you know, there's line haul, Southeast Regional, OTR, uh, 250 turn, which is short haul, Florida only, you know, local accounts. So I was looking for, I, I tell people to look for options. Options are, are key because you might get tired of being over the road. And if you're with a company, that's all they offer is over the road, then you're kind of stuck. But if you get with a company that's got a lot of options that you, you know, because you don't want to bounce from job to job to job. That's, that's, you know, I looked for some place I could stay for a while and, and enjoy my time here. And I look for, look for a place where I'm not a number, I'm a name. Wow. Every dispatcher that I met knew me by name within the first two weeks of me working here. Everyone I encountered myself with, it was, it was awesome. It was wow. a good feeling. So it's a small, big company. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger company that's, you don't have to worry about freight getting slow and not having runs, but it's, a small enough company where everyone is personal it's not you're just an, a truck number so that's that's the one thing i like is it's just, like i said a small big company that's so awesome. the flatbed world needs more diverse drivers because it, it it is a hard job but everyone can do it if you put your mind to it